What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John plays here and today we're gonna to be reviewing three brand new arcade sticks for the Nintendo Switch from Mayflash, including the 100, 300, and 500 models. Let's dive into it. So Mayflash, I reviewed their Magic NS, which pretty much makes it so that you could use an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Wii U controller on the Nintendo Switch. And they said, hey, because you already reviewed this, we'd love to send you over the arcade sticks that are now compatible with the Nintendo Switch. And I was like, all right, great. Since the time that they sent over the Magic NS to me, these are now natively supported on the Nintendo Switch. So these re products that I'm reviewing right now, you do not need a third party accessory, even from them themselves, in order for it to work, which is fantastic. It's just plug and play, works no problem. First, I wanna start with the Mayflash Arcade Fight Stick F100. Now this is their kind of bottom of the line model, not bottom of the line, but it, it's its most basic. On here we have our buttons for X, Y, A, B. For the Nintendo Switch, it's Y, X, B, and A. I needed to make little notes for myself. It also supports both of the RL and the front RL. And then on here we have different inputs because while well, this can be used for your PC, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch all across the board, in addition to that, you have a little switch right here that lets this control either the left stick, the right stick, or the D-pad. I actually tested it with Pokémon Tournament. I never played the game before, I just picked it up, I've been playing it, and it supports the D-pad. I had it set on left stick, turns out, D-pad. We also have a button on here for turbo to activate turbo mode. We have a button for start select and then we have our PS slash home button which on the switch is going to be the home button. This one doesn't have any extra features on the outside of the case just a fairly long USB cable. I want to say it's about six feet or so. Um, it is a slightly shorter cable than the other two versions. It's a fantastic way to play especially a fighting game or arcade style game and I think if when maybe the, uh, the virtual console comes to the Switch, this is gonna be one of the best ways to experience it. Especially for like the really old games, like you wanna play Super Mario World on an arcade stick, bro? No problem. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. That is the F100 arcade stick from Mayflash. That is their bottom of the line model and that guy starts at $39.99 on Amazon Prime eligible. Next one to talk about is the 300. From what I can tell, it uses the same buttons that the F100 uses. I didn't notice or really feel that much of a difference. However, the first thing I noticed is it has a little bit more weight to it. Not a dramatic amount. The 500 has a dramatic amount of weight. So even while on um, my mouse pad here, this was sliding around a little bit, even in like the menu selection screen. Not so much when I was fighting because I had more weight down on it, but when I had my hands in a more relaxed position, I found it sliding to the sides a little bit easier. The 300 has a little bit more weight, has the same button combination that the 100 did, which is great. I don't know if it's a, if it's a, a misprint on mine, however, the buttons here don't have any text on them. There, there's no text at all. They're just, I mean, there's the same switches and the same buttons, but like, even when looking at the listing online, it has the buttons listed here. I just got an, an error one. I think it'd be pretty weird to send a review copy and have it misprinted on there. The 300 compared to the 100, the 300 is $59.99. It's going to be, what is that, $20 more? With that, you also get the varying turbo. So your turbo button on here, you can map it to a single button and then you can see the red light blinking. That means that it's now active, and when you hold it down, it's gonna activate turbo. And the turbo mode is either 15 clicks per second or 25 clicks per second, your choice. In addition, on the back, there is a USB pass-through, and this could be used for controllers, for charging, or for actual control. All right, I don't believe this is supported on the Nintendo Switch, because as I'm plugging in here, I'm not getting a charge on the Pro Controller. So and that may not be supported for the Nintendo Switch. Supposedly it is for the Xbox and PC inputs. The feel of it isn't significantly different. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't see much of a reason someone would wanna pick up the F300 compared to a base model 100 or smooth transition segue into the F500 is uh is a different story that 500 is their kind of kind of flagship top of the line premium one 
On here, we have the same options for which input we're gonna be doing. If you want this to control the D-pad or the XY pad, if Turbo 1 or Turbo 2, uh, something missing from this one that was present on, oh, it was only present on the F100. You have the option to control the right stick, which honestly, I don't know why you would, but yeah, that is an option. It has the same Turbo 1 and Turbo 2 and the same turbo mapping as the F300. It also has something called T-pad, and uh, I haven't been able to figure out what that is. Like I, I messed around with all these buttons. T-pad, T-pad, T-pad. Yeah, even on even on the website, I haven't found documentation on what T-pad is. Also, we have the same PlayStation slash home button. We have our big start button here in the middle. Oh, also the 300 has a start button instead of it being a small button up here. And then uh, we also have a share button. I actually haven't tested that out. The top of it has an acrylic faceplate that you can actually remove and customize with whatever printout that you want. The PDF is on the website. It has mapping for all the letters and everything else. So if you want to, if you're like a real competitive gamer and you're picking, thinking about picking this up for console or PC or the Nintendo Switch, you could totally do that. Remove the faceplate. I tried to remove it. It didn't go that well. I think maybe you need to remove it from the bottom. I'm not, I'm not 100% too sure. In addition to that, I read online on the website that the actual stick and the buttons can be removed and it supports the Swansa Denshi buttons and joystick, which I'm not really into that sort of modding for arcade sticks, but I hear that those are more premium sticks that you can use. Um, the buttons do feel fantastic. But honestly, I don't feel much of a difference in the actual button or the response time between the three different models. So you still are getting the same fantastic buttons across the board here. You also have little LED indicators showing you which controller it is currently plugged into. On the back, we have nothing. On the side, nothing. On the bottom, here we have... So this is actually a input for a vibration strap because you actually don't want this to vibrate. This can actually plug in, it goes around your wrist and then it activates whenever vibration is a feature. I don't own that. Uh, I, I don't know who does, but that is an option. If you wanna do that, that's a thing. There's an input for the controller, the same one that was on the 300. So if you wanna put that, plug that through and you get the pass through, you get a headphone jack and a mic mute button. Or, sorry, this is a full headset, so it uses the triple. Uh, what is that, a TRS input? Regular eighth inch, but the one that also supports the microphone. And then, the coolest feature in my opinion, cause like, this is a beautiful piece. You don't, these have like the wire just kinda hanging off of the back and everything. This has the wire that's hidden inside of the compartment right here, boom. And this, the 300 and the 500 have a much longer cable. So, if you're playing from the couch, it's, it's a Chinese thing, so meters, what is that, 2.6 2. 2. or 3 meters? Probably 3 meters would make the most sense. 2 meters? I don't know. It's it's a fairly longer cable than the uh, than the 100. I believe the 300 and the 500 have the same longer cable, which is great. If you got the money and you're serious about doing some arcade gaming, 100% you want to go for the F500, which is an $89.99 product on Amazon, Prime eligible. Now that, that is definitely a premium item. I'm, I'm not even gonna front. That, that's a, this is a premium arcade stick. It's customizable. Oh, I even mentioned the weight. Bro, this thing has metal inside of here. It's weighted down, it's fantastic. If you wanna get serious about doing some modding on it, or if you're an amateur, you wanna test it out, it's got simple screws on the back so you can figure out how to get in there and start doing stuff. This did not slide around one bit. This was a pleasure to play with, giggity. If you are on more of a budget, you're doing this more casually, you think it'd be a nice novelty controller, you could pick up the F100, which is a much more lightweight arcade stick. It is cheaper by more than half. This one's only 40, this one's 60, this one's 90. So you have three different levels here depending on your budget. Uh, again, not too sure why you would go for the 300. In my opinion, the 100 and the 500 are the routes you want to go. If you're going for uh, budget or if you're going for balling, these are the two you're pretty much going to end up going with. Oh, something I just realized is that because the faceplate is interchangeable, you can, uh, you can get rid of the letters and print out what the switch letters are. I think that'd be cool. So guys, 
three amazing flagship controllers from Mayflash, the F100, 300, and 500, all natively compatible with the Nintendo Switch as of uh, one of the newer firmware updates for the Switch. I don't know if that was supported on 3.0, 4.0. I think it was 3.0. I'm not 100% too sure. Guys, I want to know what you think about these fantastic fight sticks from Mayflash for the Nintendo Switch. Drop a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.